and today we will be having a look at this Triumph Toledo Rocher. I've been waiting to do this one for a while. Right, let's get into it. First of all, I'll tell you a little bit about the car. The car was designed by a man called Giovanni Michelotti, and I believe I've got that pronunciation right. And they were built from 1970 to 1976, and there were just over 113,000 of these lovely little cars built. They're like the little brother of the Dolomite. I actually prefer these to Dolomites. I like for this very similar looking. I just prefer them. See the front cover. You've got a two door Dolomite sitting outside of Harrods of all places. You wouldn't a cheap family car outside of Harrods expect a, a Rolls to be sat there, not a two little cheap Triumph not outside of Harrods. Anyway, let's get into it. Here's the first page. Looks like there's a lovely uh, two and a four door dot at Toledo. Lovely maroon colour. Very nice. I've seen one of these in person, only one though. I think they're quite rare, I think. I've not seen many. Nice picture. And there's some um, information here. A Triumph have the reputation of producing quality cars. Cars that aren't made down to price. Hmm. Scan through the rest of this information. And you can read the rest yourself if you would like. Alright. This isn't a very long brochure so this video won't be that long. Alright, on to the next page. And we have the lovely Toledo interior. Look at that for some high spec quality interior. Look at all the quality instruments you get. Yes, yeah, Speedo, one other dial, and the heater. All the necessities. Who needs things like heated seats and all that crap? You just need a bit of vinyl seats, that's all you need. The necessities. So you've got lovely vinyl door cars with chrome mandals and a chrome winder. Have a closer look there. Um, visors with the mirrors. High luxury that. I can see it looks like quite roomy in back. And they're showing you that lovely red carpet with some lovely red vinyl seats and the heater. Now you've got luxury, now you've got luxury when you've got a heater. And this lovely, most likely fake uh, dash, wood dashboard. If I'm wrong, then tell me what I'm damn sure that is a fake wood dashboard. But yeah, it's a lovely car. I quite like them. I thought about getting one, but I've not seen any. I do really like these cars. Tell me what you think about them in the comments. Alright. On to the next page, another lovely picture. Right, Dot the Toledo, and they keep nearly calling it a Dolomite. Toledo sat next to the Blake or something. Very nice scenic picture. The lovely colour of the outside. White paint with a red interior. That is lovely. Look at those. Basic but nice wheels, steel wheels with the chrome up caps. Sometimes just the most like, basic things are just really nice. Say for a basic car, really nice, very nice looking. And here we go. So this Toledo flying down road at absolute rapid pace. We're doing about 40 mile an hour. Some information here. Lovely, have a read of this if you would like. Four cylinder 1300cc engine. Absolute powerhouse. I think these do about 90 mile an hour flat out, which is still, that's pretty, that's good. Say so that this car. For mod if you want a classic car for a daily, it would be perfect because if it top 
top out at 90, that's perfect. It'll keep up with modern traffic all day long. Some some lovely headlights and seat belts. Imagine in honestly waste of time you don't need seat belts. Honestly. Imagine needing seat belts as a necessity. And does this game stand? I think this was I'm not sure was this an option? I'm not sure. Yeah, an option to have seat belts. You don't get that these days. Option to have safety. If you haven't got the money, if you crash, you get volleyed out of the window. But if you've got a few extra quid, you'll be alright. So here's Toledo flying that road again. It's our four-speed box. Right, lovely red carpet. And then the speedo. Speedo goes up to a blistering 100 miles an hour. Yeah. I think how many pages left? One, two more. Yeah. Actually, I want to see. Uh, I might say here, but tell me, was seatbelts a standard feature or a uh, option? I probably, I'm 100% sure it was definitely an option. Because a lot of things were back then, 70s seatbelts. I think it was the late 70s seatbelts who had to start wearing them. But yeah, tell me in the comments down below. Oh, yes, you knew you were fancy when you got heater and some little bit of safety to stop you getting chucked out the window. Then you knew you had a bit of money. A little bit of fancy stuff. Yeah, and here we have the, the powerhouse of this Toledo. Nice little engine. So some, all the dimensions here of the car. Specifications. Two. Rust proofed steel panel body. Rust proofed. Hmm. Probably not rust proof very well, but oh well. General equipment. All your fancy extras. Heating and ventilation instruments. Get look have a read of that and you can see all the fancy extras you could have got for your poverty spec car. All these little things here. There's some more stuff over here. And then and that is the end. I'll show you the back. And washing their brand new Triumph Toledo. Look at this geezer here with these specs. Then with some proper sunglasses then. Alright, well that is all. It's a nice little brochure. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And comment, like and subscribe. Tell me if you'd like me to review any other brochures. Have you got any in mind? I have bought some, so keep keep tuned in for some uh, videos in the future. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and bye for now.